Hello, Spencer Clark, uh, Cap Spencer with uh, Breaking Bass Guide Service down here at uh, Table Rock Lake, Lake Teeny Como. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a fishing report uh, from this past weekend. Uh, managed to have a couple guide trips Saturday out on Table Rock. Uh, we caught a lot of fish. Um, the best bite's been uh, still for me. Um, just throwing a, a rock crawler crankbait around some secondary points leading back into the spawning pockets. Uh, got out Friday afternoon. Did a little, little pre-fishing for a couple trips I had on Saturday. Uh, caught a real nice largemouth. He's a little over five pounds, uh, just cranking. And uh, had a couple other real nice smallmouth doing that. Um, one thing that we didn't have last week was a shortage of wind. It was super windy out on the lake. And uh, the other thing that I've been doing, uh, catching a lot of fish on is throwing a spoon, actually. Still quite a few fish out deep. Um, Hitting the spoon, hitting the lights, little white spoon. Oh, hey there, little buddy. This is our uh, neighborhood cat here. We call him Chubby because he is big. He likes to come up and play on the boat. But, uh, yeah, still been catching some fish out deep on a spoon, um, a little underspin. This has been working really good if you can find some shad. That's still going on. There's still a lot of fish schooling up out on the main lake still. It's been a real, real late spring. Uh, these fish, um, seen a few here and there on the bed, but the majority of them still haven't spawned yet. Um, but still catching fish, uh, just throwing these little Kitex, um, just slow rolling them around, little windy points. Uh, if I can find the shad, been doing real well with a white spoon and just a little tail spinner like this, catching a lot of fish doing that. Um, in our guide trip Saturday, we did catch a few fish, um, dragging some spawning pockets with a little bitty Ned rig. Um, this little setup here, all I do is I just take a little green pumpkin Senko and I split it in half and I can get two netter rigs out of that. Uh, that's been catching a lot of fish. Um, but with the wind we had, uh, over the past weekend, uh, it was kind of hard to fish a lot of the good area just cause they were getting pounded with the wind. Um, but we managed to get out of the wind, catch quite a few fish. Uh, Sunday didn't have any trips. So me and the girlfriend, we decided to go trout fishing. I wanted to get out and do some checking and check out the trout bite on Teeny Como. Um, that's one other thing that my guide service is offering is uh, trout trips. Uh, really hoping uh, to get some families. I got some kids that want to get them into fishing. Uh, the trout fishing is really good down here at Teeny Como. Uh, if you got kids wanting to get them on some trout, um, catch them their first trout, uh, now's a great time to book a trout trip with me. Um, my rates are a little bit different for trout, so just reach out to me. Uh, if that's something you're thinking about doing. Uh, right now, uh, the best setup for me uh, has been just throwing um, some Berkeley Gulp orange eggs. Uh, these Gulp Alive eggs work really well. And I just throw these on a little split shot rig. And uh, you just take a little split shot, just stick it above a barrel swivel like that. Uh, you can pretty much run anything on your main line. I'm just using some uh, six pound fluorocarbon here. But I've got this running down to about a foot and a half a liter, uh, just two pound tests, um, cast king covert fluorocarbon, just running it on down with a little bitty hook. And all you got to do is you just take you a couple salmon eggs, these Berkeley eggs, and uh, we went through a whole jar in about two hours uh, yesterday. So this jar is actually empty, but basically. You're gonna take that egg and you strut it on your hook. And I like to put two eggs on and these will float. And the whole key with this setup is when you throw it out there and your bottom bouncing, uh, this little sinker is gonna go down the bottom. And as you're drifting, uh, because you got this leader, this little egg is gonna float up and it's just gonna kind of waver in the current. And that really, really attracts the trout. And this has been working really well. We had, oh, I'd say about 30 trout in about three hours. Uh, Yesterday out there chasing them on Teeny Como. Um, weren't really trying to catch the big ones. We were just going uh, going for ones that we could uh, eat. Now, if you want to get out and target some bigger trout, I can do that too. Um, just won't catch as many of them. But like I said, if you've got kids, uh, want to come down, do some fishing, maybe catch their first trout. Um, I'm going to be available this Sunday. I'm booked up Saturday for guide trips, but I've got Sunday open and would love to do a trout trip. Uh, if you got some kids that want to get into fishing. Um, so look me up, Breaking Bass Guide Service. We'd love to get you out on the water. 
And that's your uh, area fishing report down here at uh, Table Rock and Lake Tanicoma. Until next time, guys, take it easy.